What do you think has driven the, the outperformance lately? I know the market's clearly in a better mood. Is it better expectations around the new iPhone 14? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think it's a couple of things, right? To your point, the markets have held up really well. I think if you go back to Apple's own earnings call, uh, there's a lot of fear that you would get a bit of a disappointment. And, you know, what they said, what Cisco said yesterday is the markets, the macro demand is holding up fine despite all the worries. I think that's giving you some relief. Um, and then the final point, uh, you know, to what you said, there's always a bit of a euphoria, a bit of excitement into any Apple iPhone product cycle. Uh, you have one coming up. In addition, you have potential for new devices like the AR, VR headsets. I think it's a few of these things that are giving the stock a bit more momentum over here versus now. Yeah, the news today, a report suggesting that that's coming September 7th, the new iPhone and, and all the upgrades and some new products. So, I mean, what, what are realistic expectations around that? Yeah, you know, uh, in, in theory, the iPhone 14 is sort of the tick in the TikTok cycle of iPhone. So this should be a bigger product cycle, a bigger innovative product from them. Uh, I, I think eventually, right, beyond the fact that you have a new iPhone coming out, the, the debate will be, you know, are consumers ready to pay $1,000 for a new iPhone? Is there a enough innovation in these devices for one to go out and buy this? And then secondly, I think that could be fascinating is do carriers, do cable companies as Apple itself, find ways to subsidize the iPhone purchases, which I think could be a pretty big driver to drive the iPhone cycle this time around for that. But what if we start to see more pronounced demand weakness, consumer demand weakness in the U.S., in Europe, in China? We, we were just talking about how Cisco's not seeing it yet and looked a little bit better for Estee Lauder. But if that is happening, as people expect, do, doesn't this run-up make Apple more vulnerable to that? You know, so if you do have high inflation suddenly impact consumer demand, then I would, yeah, I would sort of agree with that, right, which is iPhone purchases could be one of the things people could differ out given the extent of refreshes that have happened. So you absolutely worry about that dynamic playing out if it does. Uh, so far it hasn't is, is the one thing I'd say. The second part I'd say is, you know, you and I buying a $1,000 iPhone is one thing, but perhaps if you have carriers or someone else subsidizing for you, maybe the cost of that phone is less for you versus not. But, but I, I think it's a fair point. If you have a consumer-driven recession, you worry about Apple and iPhone demand. Hey, Amit, I know back uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago, you wrote a note about an advertising push gaining momentum at Apple a bit. Tell us what that is, whether that really could become a significant revenue source for the company and why you think that might be the case. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, advertising is something, by the way, you go back to the days of Steve Jobs that talked about this business, something they want to focus on. They seem to be getting the momentum back together on the advertising business. We think it's about a $4 billion revenue stream today at very high margins. Uh, but if you look at what someone like Amazon has done, for example, right, scale this into a $25, $30 billion business, uh, there's nothing that precludes Apple to ramping this business up in that way. Uh, and very simplistic, I think the first step of this will be making the app store that we all use as a transaction mechanism, we go there, buy what, get what we want, but it, enabling that to become a search and a discovery mechanism could get you this from this $4 billion advertising business to 25. Uh, if you look at the aggregate advertising market, it is much larger. So I do think it's one of these underappreciated ways for them to monetize the ecosystem as you go forward.